Hello, Sarai. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you today? Um, difficult. You are bad? Why? No sé. Es que como se dice servicio al cliente, no sé, me ha tocado todo el día movido. Ah, <laughs> uh, really? Yes. Because of customer service, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So sad to hear that, but we are about to finish the week, right? Today is Wednesday, so probably yet for tomorrow you are going to be better, okay? Okay. Thank you so much for being right here. Hello, Lisandro. How are, How are you today? Fine, great. Teacher. Great. Okay, nice to have you right here. Now let's see Lorena. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Fine, thank and you. I am okay also. Thank you so much. Thank you for being <laughs> right here. Then we have Lisandro. Hello, Lisandro. Hello, hello. Bernandino. Uh, sorry, uh, I had Lisandro in my head, right? It was Bernandino. Uh, sorry. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good. What about you? Fine, fine. Excellent. Okay. Right now, waiting that Lisandro will talk the whole class. <laughs> the whole class, right? Exactly. He's going to be your teacher today. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. So I think that we are ready to start. We are only four, right? I don't know why people is not here, but we are going to start with today's class. So remember that yesterday we were studying pronunciation, right? We were talking about this little part, the pronunciation that we have for different things, for different verbs. So we have three kind of pronunciation and we have id, t sound, and we also have the d sound. So this was your homework assignment, right? Remember that you have homework assignment with me and you have until midnight to send me the audio. I could see that Bernardino, Lisandro, and Sarai, also Lorena, send me the homework assignment, okay? So I will be waiting for the rest. So now, look at what I have right here for you. We were talking uh, these previous days about regular verbs in simple past. But today we are going to study irregular verbs. Mm -hmm. Irregular verbs in simple past. And right here, I have some examples for you. The first one says, I did my homework. I didn't do laundry, for example. So in the case of did, what is the verb in the present of the verb did? Who knows? The verb did. In the present, what is that verb? Mm -hmm. Who knows? Quien sabe? No one. No idea, right? Aha, uh -huh, Bernardino? Sorry, the, can you repeat about? Aha, uh -huh, the, the present of the verb did. What is that verb? I do. Exactly. Do. So there you go. We have do in the present and did in the past. This is the first irregular verb that we are going to study and look at it. Let me see. Probably, um, Sarai, can you help me reading the second example, please? You got up at noon. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the you, negative one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You didn't um, get up at 10 o'clock. Exactly. Thank you so much. So as you could see, we have got in the past and get in the present. Another irregular verb. So please, I want you to start taking notes about it. Okay. We have studied two. Then I have this one for you. Let me see who can help me with this one. Probably Jenny, right? Jenny, can you help me reading the third example, please? Hello. He, he went to the museum. 
Yes, one more no, time, no, please, no, Yeni. Hola. Yes, hello, Jenny. De pronunciar la que está ahí o... Yes, can no you read escucho. these two examples, please? Uh, yeah. He went to the most... Almost, okay, thank you so much. It will be, he went to the museum. He went to the museum museum exactly he went to the museum exactly the other one please jenny he they mean good good to the library uh -huh. okay thank you so much he didn't go to the library he didn't go to the library 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 exactly thank you so much so these words are kind of difficult right museum and library <laughs> <laughs> yeah. library in library myself. in that way exactly thank you so much so here we have another irregular verb we have went and in the present the verb will be go okay we have went okay. in the past and go in the present. Now let's see the third example. Yes, Jenny? No. No, okay, no, okay. <laughs> now let's see, Lorena, can you help me read the fourth example? The example number four? Okay. Vamos a ver si veo más o menos porque estoy del celular. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, we, we meet our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. Okay, thank you so much, Lorena. So in the first example, the difference that we had in pronunciation in these two words is that in the past, we say met. Met, okay? Met. Exactly. We met okay. our classmates. And in we the met present, our classmates. Exactly. And in the present, it will be meet. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. We didn't meet. We didn't meet our, our teacher. Our teacher. Exactly. In that way. Thank you so much. So we have met and meet. Okay. Met, meet. Exactly. Thank you so much. Okay. Now let's see another person that I have right here. Probably Marleni. Can you help me reading the example number five, please? <clears throat> You came home late. You didn't come home early. Excellent. Thank you so much. So as you could see, we have came in the past, the pronunciation, right? Came, as Marlene said, and then we have come in the present. Okay? Came and come. The last example that I have right here for you, it's going to be for... Veronica Jamilet, this is for you. Can you help me read in the example, please? Okay, teacher. Um, they had a picnic. They don't uh, have a party. Okay, thank you so much. They have a picnic and they didn't have a picnic, okay? So there you go with the pronunciation. In the past, it will be have, and in the present, it will be have, okay? So there you go. Guys, until now, any question about any new word that you see right here, any pronunciation, the meaning of a new verb, or everything is clear? Yes, clear. Yes, teacher. No, teacher. Yes, teacher. Clear. Yes, teacher. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now, pay attention to this because I have some other verbs for you. And I want you to take notes about it because later we are going to have a little practice about it, okay? So look at it. For the verb be, we have was 
and where. Okay? We have the two options. Was and where. When do we use was and when do we use where? Who knows? Who can help me? Mm -hmm. Was is where she, he, it. Where is they, are you, it. Excellent. Thank you so much. So we use was, as Estrella said, he, she, it. Third person singular. And where? For the rest of the subjects. Exactly. Thank you so much, Estrella. Then we have swim in the present. And in the past, it will be swam. Okay? Swam. There you go with that. Another verb. Eat, right? Eat pupusas. I ate pupusas. Like the number, right? Eight pupusas. Another one, the verb take. In the past, it will be took. Okay? Took. Pay attention to the pronunciation. Take and took. Exactly. Then the verb wear. I wear a purple t-shirt. And then I wore. I wore a purple t-shirt. For example, in the present, we have sing, right? I sing a song. And in the past, we have I sang a song. <laughs> okay, kind of similar, right? Sing and sang. Another one, speak. Speak. And in the past, it will be spoke. Spoke. Pay attention to the pronunciation because later I will ask you to help me reading the verbs. Then we have the verb no. No. And in the past it will be new. New. We don't say new. No decimos new. Porque si decimos new, estamos hablando del adjetivo nuevo. Repeat, please, the verb, please. Yes. It will be no in the present and oh. new in the past. No. 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 Como una N y una U. Exactly, like that. No. no. For example, Estrella me dice un chisme, right? And I can say, ay, Estrella, I knew it. Ya lo sabía, right? I knew it. ¿Se dan cuenta en la pronunciación? I knew it. No. I knew it. La mayoría de personas dicen new. Mm -mm. New es incorrecto porque si decimos new, estamos hablando de este adjetivo, del adjetivo nuevo. Este, si lo decimos como new. Pero este, lo decimos new. ¿Ok? I knew the Por answer. For la Q. Exactly. Okay, for the K. So, another verb that we have right here. It's going to be the verb fall. What is fall? What is the meaning of fall? Mm -hmm. Fall. Fall. Caer. Exactly, caer. Fall. And in the past, we have fail. Fail. Another Fair. verb. Yes, the verb fine. What is fine? What is fine? Encontrar. Exactly, encontrar. In the present will be fine, and in the past it will be found. Found. Okay, found. found. Then we have the verb build. Found. Build. Okay, in the present. And in the past, it's going to be built with T. Wow. Built. Where is the build? Mm, I can build a house. Okay. Really? Construir. Thank you. You're welcome. Construir. I build and I built. This one that, is, that you already know, 
have, and in the past it will be had. Another one, this is something interesting. Catch, right? Catch, and in the past it will be caught. Caught, caught. Okay, another one, bring. Bring, and in the past it will be brought. Okay, we have brought. I remember another one. It's going to be this one. I already told you about the pronunciation of this one. I remember. This one is going to be say in the present, and in the past it will be said. Said. Oh. We don't say said. Oh. No. Said no existe. Decimos said. Okay, so decimos said. Another one, it's going to be the verb tell. In the past, it's going to be told. Tell and told. My sister told me a secret, right? Estrella told me a gossip. Okay. Yeah. Pay attention to the pronunciation of this one because sometimes it's kind of difficult. And I know. Okay, in the present, we say, think. Look at my tongue between my teeth. Think. 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 Mm -hmm. And then, in the past, we are going to say, thought. 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 Okay, yes. We say, think in the present, and then in the past, it's going to be thought. Okay? Thought. Conceive. Exactly. So now, do you have any question about any verb, like the meaning that you don't know, or any pronunciation that you want me to repeat, or not? Teacher, yeah. estos, estos verbos de ley es que hay que aprendérselos, ¿verdad? Yes, Marlene. A ley hay que aprendérselos. Yes, because they are irregular. And as you could see, some of them change a lot, right? For example, be, was, and were, right? They change a lot. For example, take, took, right? Some of them, not at all, because look at sing, we only change the vowel, right? But yes, we have to learn them by heart, as people say. Okay? So, any question about pronunciation or the meaning of a new verb? Or not? Mm. Bring, bring. Um, this one? Bring? Uh -huh. Yes, bring. Yes. The meaning is traer. traer. Repeat. Repeat. Okay, it's going to be bring in the present and in the past it will be brought. Bring. Bring. Bring and brought. Brought. brought with a T at the end. Oh. We say brought. Oh. Teacher, brought. what is what is this? Catch. 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 I catch the cell phone. Okay. Catch. Catch. Thank you. You're welcome. And then in the past it will be caught. Caught. Another Couch. verb? Couch. Couch. No, it will not be couch. No, no couch. It will be with O. Cot. 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 Exactly. Cot. Cot. Aha. Uh -huh. You know all the verbs Couch. and all the pronunciations, so we are ready to have a practice? Yes, mm. right. You are ready to have a practice. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. So let's begin with the practice. Let me see my first victim. I, I say my first volunteer, right? My first volunteer, it's going to be someone who doesn't have the camera, Rosa Elba. Please, Rosa Elba. 
Rosalba, you are going to say the pronunciation of these ones. B. Uh, what word? Uh -huh. One more time. Shuang. Exactly. If at. Mm -hmm. One more time. Uh huh. And at. Aha, uh -huh. this one is going to be eight. Okay. Eight. Eight. Le sería. Exactly. Two. Took. Exactly. Uh huh. Were. Were. Exactly. Thank you so much, Rosa Elba. Then my next volunteer, it's going to be another person who doesn't have the camera, Lorena. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Go ahead, please. From this one until this one, please. Okay. No. No, no, no. From this one. Ah, okay, pardon. Don't worry. Uh, send. Stand. Okay, hold Speak. on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. A second, please. Okay, no le agregamos una K, sino que sing. Aquí hacemos sing. G, G, G. Okay, okay. Es de gato. Porque si decimos sink, estamos hablando de lavamanos. Ah, okay. ¿Eh? Okay. okay. One more time, please. Sink. Stand. Okay, one more time. G. Let's make this sound, Lorena. G, G. Okay, sorry. Wait. Sing. 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 Exactly. Go ahead, please. Sing. Sound. Okay. Speak. Spoke. Spoke. No. No. Mm -hmm. This one? No. No. Uh -huh. Aha, uh -huh. the past of no will be nu. Uh, no. 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 Okay, we don't say no. No is in the present. In the past, it will be nu. No. 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 Exactly. No. <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, one more time, what? Lorena. No. No. Okay, one more time. No. No. Mm, remember, this is like a U. No. 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 <laughs> okay, we make it like Ay, this. <laughs> okay, like this. Look at it. No. No. Exactly, in that way. No, no, no. Exactly like that. Yes, okay. continue, please. Uh, fall, feel. Feel? Uh, fell. Fell, exactly. Fell. Yes, how would it be? Fine or feel? Fine, yes, fine. Fine, found. 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 Exactly. Uh huh. Oh. Exactly. Yes. Thank you so much, Lorena. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Now my next victim. It's going to be. Uh, let me see. Hi, Ang. <laughs> okay, you, Marta. Thank you so much. So, Marta, these ones from Bill to say. Bill. Bill. Está bien. Bill. Uh -huh. Bill. Bill, and then? Bill. Sí, una Bill. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y el otro, Bill. Built. Bills. Built. Con una T al final. Built. Built. Exactly. Built. Built. Ajá. Uh -huh. The other one. Half. Half. And the throw is how is it? Self. 
This one. Have he has had. Have y el s es has creo. Okay, no it will be. Pronuncia. Don't worry, it will be have this one have have, have and this one had. Have. Have. Con D. Con una D. D. Exactly. Have. Have and have. 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 Exactly. Pronuncio. Sí. Pronuncio bien o no. Yes. One have. more time. Have. 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 Almost. Okay. Look at it. I want you to make an extra emphasis. It will be the first one. This one. Have. 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 And in this have. one, have. Have. Exactly. Quiero que se fijen en los labios. El primero, que es en el presente, yo digo have. Y dejo mis dientes de arriba con el labio de abajo. Yo digo have. 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 Ajá. Pero en el pasado, yo dejo la boca como enseño los dientes y digo had. Had. Exactly. Had. Exactly, like that, Marta. Let's continue. Ese es cas y el otro cos. Exactly, cut. cut. Uh -huh. The other one? El otro es bring, bring, bros. Broad, exactly. And the last one, Marta. Say. Uh -huh. Say. Said. Excellent. Yes. Amazing. Good job, Marta. That was it. Thank you so much. Another person. Okay. Another person. Do I have my a volunteer or not? Yes, Jenny. Thank you. Go ahead. What is the mean? This one. Three. Only three. Three. Mm. So Deal. Aha, uh -huh, one more time. Deal. Aha, uh -huh. it will be tell. Ah, tell. 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 Tall. Tall. Aha. Uh -huh. Thin. Mm hmm. Thought. One more time. Thought. 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 Exactly in that way. Aha. Uh -huh. Es el nuevo, lo voy a pronunciar yo primero. Ajá. Ok, lo voy a pronunciar yo primero con usted. Este es el verbo sentir. Decimos feel and felt. Feel and felt. Feel and felt. Exactly. Excellent. Thank you so much, Jenny. ¿Quiere practicar alguien más diciéndome los verbos para ver la pronunciación o continuamos? I like volunteers, so go ahead. Yes, Marlene. Yo quiero participar. Ok, Estrella, go ahead. So give me a second. First we have Marlene and Marlene will read all these ones. And then you, Estrella, all these ones, ok? Ok. Go ahead. Mucho teacher. I go ahead, you can do it. <laughs> Okay, be, mm -hmm. was, and were. Excellent. Swim, swam. Eat, ate. Take, took. Uh -huh. Wear, wore. Aha, uh -huh. one more time. This one? Wear. Aha, uh -huh. we say where. Where. Mm -hmm. And this? War. 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 Uh -huh. Where and war. War. Okay. okay, go ahead. Sing. And sound. Exactly. Speak. Spoke. Excellent. You see that you could do it. Excellent, Marlene. Now go ahead, please, Estrella. Thank you. No. No. Excellent. Paul, Phil. And Finn, 
phone. Aha, uh -huh. one more time. This one. Find. Mm -hmm. This mm, one is phone. going to be fine. Ah, fine. Fine. <laughs> fine. And this one. Phone. Found. I found. Exactly. I found. I found. Exactly. Uh huh. Built. 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 Mm -hmm. One more time. Bill. Mm -hmm. Built. Built. Uh huh. Continue. How. How. Uh huh. Catch. Coped. Uh huh. Bring. Brought. Excellent. Thank you so much, Estrella. Okay, my next volunteer or no more volunteers? Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Fíjense que yo siento que la I me cuesta bastante. No sé si la pronuncio bien. ¿Cuál? It. It. Okay. Uh -huh. Tell me your pronunciation. It. And in the past? No, esa no la puedo pronunciar. No. Okay, esa la decimos eight. 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 Yes. Eight. Like the number. Okay. La primera es it. Ajá. It. Está bien así. Sí. It. Y la otra me dijo. Eight. 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 Yes. Siempre con T, va. Yes, con T. With a T sound. It, eight. Excellent. Now let's see, Lisandro, you are not talking a lot. So tell me, can you help me with these verbs? Ah, Lisandro, I cannot hear you. Yes, he won it. <laughs> yes, but I cannot hear Lisandro. Pueden escuchar a Lisandro. Si sí, lo escuchan. Escuchar. Sí. Yes. Uy, ya estoy sorda yo. Quiero ver. No, oh, no, no, creo que no fue él el que habló. No, no fue Bernardino. Oh, no. <laughs> sí. no, no. No, Lisandro, we cannot hear you. Híjole. Hoy sí ya. Ya, ¿me escucha? Yes. No. Sí. Yes. Vale. ¿Cuál es, teacher? This one. Oh. Say, uh -huh. said. Excellent. Tell, told. Uh, think, told. One more Feel, time. Think, told. Ajá, uh -huh. continue. Feel, felt. Excellent. Just in this one, I want you to make an extra emphasis. We say thought. Thought. Talk. Exactly, in that way, Lisandro. Thank Talk. you so much. Talk. Yes. Now, Bernardino, this one's for you, please. <laughs> okay. Build. <laughs> Build. 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 Have. Had, catch, caught, and bring, brought. Excellent. Thank you so much, Bernardino. You're welcome. Okay. Do I have another person who wants to practice or not? Sarai, do you want? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Go ahead, please. Um, You are going to make these ones. Okay. Go ahead, please. Swim. Swam. Uh -huh. Eight. Uh, eight. Uh huh. Take, took, wear, wore, see, saw. Um, Excellent. Yes, in that way. Thank you so much. That was awesome. Okay, so no more practice, right? Now let's move on into the last, the last activity, the next activity that we have. Give me a second. And I will enter to this link. 
I have problems with this thing. Okay. Oops. Okay, there we go. Okay, in this part, we are going to practice irregular verbs. The verbs that we were studying right now. Okay? So, we are going to play it a little bit. So, there you go. Here we have some new verbs, probably. But they are easy for you. Okay? So, look at it. The first one is steal. What is steal? Guess steal. Who knows? Uh huh. Steal. No. Steal no, es robar. Okay. Robar. Steal. 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 So, in the past, ¿alguien tiene idea de cuál sería? Aquí tenemos todas estas opciones. Stall, teacher. Stall, exactly. Easy, right? Steal in the present, stole in the past. So, then we have a speak. In the past, it will be? Spoke. 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 Uh, yes. Look. Grow. What is grow? ¿Qué es grow? Grow. Crecer. Crecer. Grow. Exactly. Grow in the present and in the past? Grew. Grew. Exactly. In the present, we have give, and in the past, we have got. Almost, yes, gave. 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 In the present, give, and in the past, gave. gave. Excellent. What about sing? Sang. Sang. Excellent. Sang. What about break? Broke. 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 Exactly. Broke. Begin. What is begin? Begun. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Get. Got. 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 Leave. Left. 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 And this one, right? Away. 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 And a walk. Excellent. So there you go. Easy for you, right? So right now, orally, orally, you are going to give me one sentence orally. Right now, I'm not, I'm going to give you the verb in the present and you create the sentence in the past. My first volunteer will be Bernardino. Okay, okay, Bernardino. Your verb will be, I will choose one of this one. Break. Go ahead. Break. Yes. I broke my finger playing uh, basketball. Excellent. Thank you so much, Bernardino. Okay. My next big team will be Estrella. Estrella, your verb, it's going to be speak. And uh, they speak Spanish. Okay, but in the past? Ah, they spoke, uh, is, they spoke Spanish. Excellent. Thank you so much. Marlene, you go. The verb, it's going to be have. In past. Yes. I... Aquí lo tenemos, ¿ok? There you go. Te me puso otro. <laughs> Para ver si estamos. I had... I had a... Dog? I have a dog. Exactly. I have a dog. Excellent. Um, the next one, it's going to be for Sarai. Sarai, your verb, it's going to be think. Think. Yes. Mm. Think. Think. Mm, let me think. Pensar. Mm -hmm. Sarai. Think. What is the past? Give me a sentence in the past. Talk. Uh huh. Talk. Oh. Talk on you. Uh huh. Can you say the sentence one more time? 
Go ahead, Sarai. You can do it. Talk in Korean. <laughs> okay, one more time. The complete sentence. Think um, in Korean. Okay, remember that think is in the present. And I want a sentence so, in the past. Uh huh. Talk in my friend. Ajá. Pero ahí necesitamos un sujeto. ¿Quién pensó en los amigos? You, you told um, friend. You thought about your friends. Oh, yeah. Okay. One more time, Sarai. You told about, about your friends. About your friends. Exactly. Thank you so much. Okay, pay attention because I will call you one more time, okay? Now, Jenny, you are going to be my volunteer. Your verb, it's going to be no. No. Huh? Jenny? No, in the past. Oh. Your microphone, Jenny. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. I know um, English. <laughs> okay, yes, but in the past? Uh, I know English. I knew English. I know. Excellent. Okay, Jenny, thank you so much. Another person, Veronica, your verb, it's going to be eat. Veronica Jamilet. Yes. Um, huh? What? Um, what? One more time. Um, eat in the present. What is the past of the verb eat, Veronica? Eating. Mm -mm, that is it past participle. Now we are talking about simple past. No, es, uh, it's in the con no. No, that is present continuous. Right now, Veronica, we are talking about simple past. Aha, uh -huh, Veronica, pay attention, okay? I will call you. La voy a llamar después con otro verbo. Guys, ¿cuál sería el pasado del verb eat? Hey, eight, eight, eight. exactly, eight. It will be eight. So, Sarai, can you give me an example with the verb eight? You ate dinner. You ate dinner, exactly. Thank you so much. Okay, Veronica, there you go with an example. Another verb for you, Veronica, the verb speak. Hey, Veronica, go ahead, please. The verb is speak. Stop. What? Sorry? Stop. Stop. Okay, one more time, please. Can you speak louder? ¿Puedo hablar más fuerte, porfa? And spoke. Spoke, uh -huh. Can you create a sentence, please? Sentence, please. It's Any spoken. sentence. Uh -huh. you Veronica? Spoke. Uh, you spoke. Uh -huh. Se dice spoke. Yes. 
pero ahora quiero que crea una oración. Please, go ahead. A sentence in the past using a spoke. Una oración con, con el spoke. Yes. Um, I want a big... Eh, ah, no, pero tiene que ser el spoke. ¿no? Exactly, in the past, Verónica. Mm -hmm. well, spoken which uh, a clear okay one more time una vez más well, uh, spoken which a clean spoken english what uh -huh, veronica Okay, Veronica, if you don't know, no problem, okay? Just tell me, teacher, I don't know. Teacher, I don't understand, okay? There's no problem. Can you do it, Veronica, or not? No. ¿Puedes hacerlo o no? No. No, ok, no problem, Verónica, ok, no hay problema, me gusta la sinceridad, así que nada más, pay attention, ok, pongamos atención, porque esto viene en las actividades que ustedes tienen en la plataforma, ok, so pay attention because I want you to learn, so let me see who can help me, probably Marlene, can you make a sentence please with the verb spoke? Spoke. Yes. I spoke about my class. Yes, it could be. Yes. Yes. I prefer mm -hmm. if you use like a language. I spoke French. I language. Yes. Because okay. if you if you are talking about a thing, you can use tell. Tell. Aha. Uh -huh. I okay. told about my class. Okay. Okay. But good job. Thank Excellent. You. Marta, your turn, Marta. Um, your verb, it's going to be have. Have es um, tener, ¿verdad? Yes, exactly. Uh, I, I am have um, angry. Okay, I am have angry. Angry, ajá. Uh -huh. Podemos decir, I am have angry. Ajá. En inglés no podemos decir tengo hambre. En inglés decimos I am hungry, right? Hungry. hungry. Pero hungry. ocupamos el verbo be. Y en este caso yo pedí el verbo have, tener. ¿Cómo diríamos no eso? No lo puedo. Um, no lo puedo poner junto. Ajá. No. We cannot have it together. Entonces, otro ejemplo, Marta. You can do it. You can do it. ¿Cuál es el... el verbo have. Ajá. Ajá. I am how. Mm -mm, es que no vamos a ocupar el verbo am. No podemos Pero... decir I am, sino que sería I have. I have in the past. Oh. I mm. have. ¿El qué? ¿Qué, ¿Qué tiene o qué tenía, Marta? ¿Un objeto? No sé cómo decirlo. ¿Un pencil? Exactly. I have a pencil. A pencil. Exactly. In that way. I have a pencil. Simple así. Exactly, like that. I had a pencil. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. Lorena, this is for you. Lorena, the verb swim. Go ahead, please. ¿Cuál, perdón, teacher? Swim. Uh, fill. 
swim. Ah, swim. Yes. Um, I swim. Um, I swim um, for morning. Mm -hmm. what is it? But that is in the present, oh, and we are talking morning. about the past. Um, in uh, pasado. Exactly, in past. Uh, I, I, sería one. Uh -huh. I, I swam, I swam, uh, I swam, uh, yesterday. I swam yesterday. Thank you so much. Another yeah. one, Rosa Elba, for you, the verb, it's going to be fine. Me dijo el verbo fine. Fine, yes. Okay. I phone. I phone. Um. I phone. A red blouse. In the farm store. Excellent. Thank you so much, Rosa Elba. Excellent. Okay, now I have a question for you. Una pregunta para todos y quiero que me la contesten, pero le voy a dar tiempo. La pregunta es la siguiente. What did you do yesterday? Yesterday. It will be in this, day, in this way. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Les voy a dar exactamente tres minutos para que piensen en esa pregunta. Pueden tomar notas, escribir las cosas que hicieron rapidito. Solo tres minutos les voy a dar para que piensen en eso. Tres minutos. What did you do yesterday? Okay, in my case, I taught classes. I went to the university. I studied French. I played video games, I watched a movie, okay? So there you go with some sentences, with some examples. So now go ahead, please, and think about the question, what did you do yesterday? Okay, Veronica, please think about this question because you are going to be my first volunteer. Okay, Veronica? Okay, teacher. Okay, let me see. And later, I will choose another person, but I don't know who. Okay, so work on that. Only three minutes to think about that question. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? I ate pupusas, right? For example, I took a shower also. I spoke English, for example. So there you go with some examples. You are going to tell me at least four sentences. Por lo menos cuatro oraciones. Por lo menos. Okay? At least four sentences. And you are missing only one more minute. One more minute. And we start with Veronica. Too much. Disculpe, no solo era algo de lo que hicimos ayer, según yes. la pregunta que usted hizo. Yes. Pero solo una o necesita oh, varias. At least four sentences. Four. <laughs> at least four. Ok, okay gracias. Ok, you're welcome. 
Okay, one minute is done. Three minutes, sorry. So, Veronica, you are going to be the first one. So, tell me, Veronica, what did you do yesterday? Okay. Um. Uh huh. Okay, Veronica, go ahead. We can listen to you. Uh, yesterday, yesterday, I went to play soccer with uh, a witch friend. Okay, I went to play. To play. Uh huh. What else? ¿Qué más? Um, and yesterday, I. I I heard uh, pupusas. I ate pupusas. Uh -huh. What else? Mm. Uh, son cuatro, uh -huh. And you told me only three. Mm -hmm. One more. Only one more, Veronica. Pero de lo que hicimos, vean, no como, o oh, pues se puede hacer una oración con, um, de cualquiera, digamos. Yes, you can do it. Tell me one sentence, only one more. Okay. And just about, uh, what beautiful world. It was a beautiful day. Yes, okay, thank you so much. So let me see another person. Bernardino, please, sure. what did you do? Yes. Who okay. Said <clears throat> okay, go ahead, please. Uh, yesterday, I meet with customer in the morning. Okay. Uh, I worked yesterday at 10.30 p.m. after my English class. Okay. And I bought diner yesterday at the gas station store. Okay, excellent. I bought dinner. It will be dinner. Excellent. Yes, Bernardino. Can you choose another classmate? Um, I spoke uh, yesterday with my son uh, after the English class. Okay, excellent. Can you choose? Can you give me one name of one your name, classmates? Uh, Lisandro. Okay. <laughs> Okay, yes, Lorena, tell me. Um, I work uh, I work late yesterday. Okay. I went shopping on the market. Okay. Yesterday I work late. I feel hungry. Okay. Um yesterday I didn't have a good day. Okay, I had a good day. Sí, o sea, como que no tuve un buen día. Ah, I didn't. It will be. I, I didn't. Excellent. Okay, Lorena, that was so good. Thank you so much. What about you, Lisandro? We finished with you. Okay. Yesterday, I spoke in the world. Okay. I felt hungry with a person. Okay. I ate very delicious meal. Okay. I found a new book. I found a new book. Excellent. For the rest, para las demás personas. Think about this question because tomorrow I will choose more people to tell me what did you do yesterday. Okay. And remember that you have homework assignment with me. An audio telling me all these verbs. Okay? Ya se le envié, teacher. Yes, Lisandro. Thank you so much. You are responsible, right? Thank you. Okay. So, I think that that will be all for today. Remember to practice a lot English, right? To practice English with you and when you are taking a shower, when you are going to work, okay? So keep practice English, and in case you have questions or doubts, let me know because I'm here to help you.
Okay. So. Okay. Feliz bye noche, bye. teacher. Yes, teacher. Bye. 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 Have a good night. Feliz noche a todos. Thank you. Bye-bye.